If your soybean yield didn't meet expectations, you might have a bigger problem on your hands. WCIA 3's ag reporter Stu Ellis has more in this morning's report from the farm. Nathan Klachewski is Extension's resident specialist for plant diseases and soybean cyst nematode problems and says soil samples will help you avert continued soybean yield loss. Uh, now is the time of the year we're all pretty much winding up harvest with corn and soybeans um, when people are going to start noticing that maybe their fields didn't perform quite as well as they wanted them to or maybe sections of the field uh, were, were underperforming relative to other areas of the field. Soybean genetics are quickly losing their former resistance to SCN. And therefore, even though you have something that you think um, is protecting you from this nematode, in fact, it still could be a problem for you. If you're getting soil samples for fertilizer, you get a sample for SCN testing. All you have to do is just take a subsample of your, of your uh, samples that you're taking for assessing nutrients and then send them off for soybean cyst nematode uh, sampling. So um, the way you want to do that is this is you know this is obviously what a lot of us are going to be doing this is a just a typical soil probe and we're going to get in there i like to get in you know within about four or five inches of of the row where you want to sample and make sure you kind of go in get a get a good six to eight inches deep out so you have that nice soil profile in there remember this nematode is going to be feeding on the roots and producing eggs in the nearby soil so that's why we want to sample this You'll need more than one sample. You want to get yourself a good 15 to 20 cores uh, per every 10 acres or so. Mix those together, mix them up, put them into a plastic bag. Then you want to put those samples immediately into a cooler and keep them cool until you send them to wherever it is you want to send them for assessment. The U of I Plant Clinic can handle that for you. That's our report from the farm. I'm Stu Ellis with WCIA3, your local news leader.